Okay, quick little demo today. I've got the human element inside of the JT30 shell. Behind me, I'm playing the Memphis Mini amp. And what I'm gonna do is let you hear this amp with uh, a preamp tube swap. So I've taken out, I think the original amp came with the AU7, I could be wrong. AU or AY7, which has a much lower mu or output than the AT7 that I have in it now. So it becomes a little more uh, aggressive and it has more of a attack and bite to it. Uh, and I have it set really low, so I have it at the volume at three, and it's still like, it's it's amazing what it does to the amp. So just wanted to let you hear it. If some of you own a Memphis Mini or maybe a Stage Five, and you want to experiment with swapping out preamp tubes, in my opinion, it is the number one way to and most affordable way, and mo has the most impact on the way your amp responds is is swapping out and experimenting with preamp tubes, and. Um, it's just because it because it changes so much the the ability to change the wiggle room and the volume. The lower the mu, the more wiggle room. The higher you can turn the amp. And so so this is kind of counterintuitive to what most harp people would do. I'm turning down the amp. I'm raising the gain up. Let's just hear it. Let's see what it sounds like. just killer it's it's a really fun way to just get a different sound out of your amp if you have old preamp tubes laying around even better um, I think my favorite preamp tube that I ever came across and plugged into an amp so far are these black labeled uh, RCA preamp tubes um, I had an AX7 I don't know where that is now and then an AY7 and I think that's in my Supro and it just warm makes the tone a lot warmer. It just changes things up. Uh, I want to say for the record, though, that I do find that... Let me turn the gain back up. Sorry on this recording mic. Um, that the preamp tube that's found in your Stage 5, if you have one, is an AY7. And I think that's kind of like perfect for the amp. So this is just more for fun. Kind of an experiment. If you have preamp tubes, it's something to think about. I think I might experiment leaving this AT7 in the Memphis Mini because it kind of gives it a just a big full sound if I'm doing something where I'm playing a duo or trio where we're just going to get louder. <laughs> we're going to play electric and I want to have a, enough push behind me. I don't want it to um, kind of have a, what's the word, bottom out on me or sort of have a very capped limit on, on how much output the amp has. It just gives it much more thrust more push we got it on three as i mentioned the volume's on three and the tone is on four i'll just do this quickly i'm going to turn the volume back down on this little computer mic and i'm going to demo the amp what, what it sounds like when it's on the edge when i turn it up That's all you'd ever <laughs> probably need. And again, I have this amp set to like five right now. So that's the Memphis Mini. It's been a long time since I plugged into it. Um, and just wanted to share with you a cool little idea about just, just swap out some of the preamps. Um, if you got an amp that has more than one preamp tube, start with one. I mean, just experiment. I don't know enough about this stuff. I'm sure that in the comments section, we can get plenty of opinion as to which preamp tube would be the best one to swap out the one that's right next to the inverter tube, I think it's called, uh, or the one that's all the way at the end. Um, I'm just randomly trying stuff and it's working. So again, in general, if you're looking for just a, a tip for good harp sounding uh, tubes, 
typically you don't want an AX7. It's too much gain. That's designed for guitar. And uh, the next natural step would be trying like an AY or AU7. Uh, that's my recommendation. And that could be both for smaller amps or a large amp like a basement. In fact, in my basement, I think I've got an AU7 and maybe an AY. I don't know what I've swapped out, but it's just kind of cool. You can start to, and it's important for a big amp because if you have that AX7 in there, you're the person who can barely turn your amp up to like one and a half or two before it starts to feed back. And you want it to be where you can crank that thing closer to five, let's say, um, and that four and a half to six on the volume before it feeds back on you. So that's what I think about all this stuff is uh, I'm not big on mods and, and I'm not, I don't know a lot about specs and all this stuff, but I just, over the years, I've noticed that the preamp tube swap stuff is real. And those old preamp tubes, if you got some, hold on to them because they just have such a huge, warm, full sound. It's dramatic difference changing out um, your preamp tube from like a stock, cheap Chinese tube to an old vintage RCA preamp tube. It's a huge difference. Make it a good day, and I'll catch you guys soon. Don't forget, I have a class coming. I almost forgot to mention this Saturday. That's happening at 11 a.m. Central. It's Paul Butterfield. We're doing Born in Chicago. Tabs will be included, and we're going to have a good time breaking down the song. So I hope to see some of you there. I'll put a link to the class in the video description.